you're ready to make your goals happen. How do you do it? How do you keep your New Year's resolutions? I've got four tools to empower you and get you to your dreams. Number one, say it out loud. Share it, share it proudly. Even if you've got that nagging voice that is making you doubt if you can really get there, if you can really do it, we want to make it public by sharing with some safe friend or family member. It doesn't have to be a social media post, but hey, if you want to go there, I encourage it. This helps to motivate us and push us in those moments when we would rather not go towards that goal behavior, when we would rather sit on the couch and watch TV. We're going to remember, hey, we said this out loud. People know we're going to be doing this. Let me get up off the couch. Two, keep your motivation close by, meaning remind yourself of what you're doing and why you're doing it. This is going to be different for everyone and every goal. Some ideas here. This could be a picture of that beautiful vacation spot uh, that you're saving up money for. This could be reading and rereading a journal entry about your dream job and the amazing schedule that you're gonna have with it, what it's gonna look like and how it's gonna feel. This could be a copy of your lab work with high A1C levels staring at you right there, always at your desk, perhaps on the refrigerator, reminding you that there's a reason you're doing this hard work. Number three, this might be the most important one. So if you're writing this stuff down, put a star here. Focus on the behavior. Throughout the year, keeping your eye on the long-term goal is important, but you can't wait until the end of the year to celebrate. You've got to celebrate the behavior that's going to get you there along the way. So it's not just about getting to that vacation spot. It's about celebrating in some way that for four paychecks in a row, you've put money towards that airline ticket. It's not about getting that dream job. It's about celebrating that you've applied to five places and it was really, really hard to do. You put so much time into each cover letter and that that in and of itself needs to be celebrated. You know, the same with the high blood sugar, the high A1C. It's not getting to the perfect A1C level that you need to celebrate, that could take a while. You need to celebrate the five days in a row that you stayed below 45 grams of sugar. Sharing that and celebrating with that safe person that you've made this goal public to is a really important part of the process here. It gets you motivated through the year with the little wins of your behavior. It's the really empowering part of these tools. Now, tip number four is really important in order to do tip number three. So you need to track your progress, track your behavior. People do this in all types of ways. Um, you can simply write it down, keeping a journal, um, creating some kind of chart, there's all types of apps out there that help track people's progress. Um, you can make those social media posts if you want to be so bold. Other people are you know, taking measurements, body measurements, as a marker through the year of their progress towards the end goal. It needs to be measured. It needs to be recorded in some way. These tips seem really easy, and they are. They are really easy. The consistency in doing them long-term 
is the difficult part. So we've created a community um, in addition to one-on-one -on -one support to help people keep the steam going throughout the entire year to make it to your goals. And if you'd like support from me and my team, we'd love to be here in supporting your goals. Email me, email me now and we'll get you started. I'll put a link below. Bye everybody, good luck.